Namaste angels. Today I've been guided to share a little story with you. Uh, those of you who care to stick around and listen when I'm not doing tarot. Um, so in all honesty, I'm not really sure why exactly I've been um, told to share this with you at this time. Maybe because it is the story of the so-called first black, um, firstborn black messiah. This is um, a name given to a young man in Harlem few years ago. We're going to read about him. Um, and I guess to tell you a little bit more about me, I don't know. I've shown you connections to me and Judaism, connections to me and Islam, connections to me, between me and Christianity. And now I guess it's time for connections between me and the 5% nation, which is actually a, um, like a sect of, of Islam. So this is from www.ancientorderoffreeasiatics.com slash Black Messiah. Black Messiah was physically born Matthew Johnson. So already we're starting out with two names of um, apostles, Matthew and John, or son of John in this case, Johnson. He was born on July 12th in 1948 which is 191111 11, or 1913, his birthday. He was born to James, so another apostle name, and Ernestine Johnson. I'm not sure the meaning of Ernestine. Sometimes I know people's, like they tell me their name and I go, oh, that means such and such. And I, I'll help them to figure out, you know, stuff about themselves. But I, I can't honestly say I know the meaning of Ernestine. We can look it up especially since I got my laptop right here in front of you guys for you guys to see the truth with your own eyes. During the 1960s, as a young teen in Harlem, he encountered various people from all walks of life. There were the hustlers, the black clergy, the black Muslims, etc. Like most youth, he admired the black Muslims as they were well-dressed, disciplined, and fearless toward quote-unquote whitey. He first met the man that we know as Allah on 116th Street, which equals eight, of course, or 17. Very special number in several of the scriptures. I think Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, now that I think about it. Um, so he met on 117th Street. Also in Supreme Math, that would be uh, Knowledge and God, right, 17. And Lenox Avenue. The year was 1963, which equals 19. According to reports, Black Messiah first observed Allah trying to get into the temple number seven. So again, seven equals God, and that was Malcolm's temple, while he was dressed in shorts. This was a no-no in the Muslim world of the Nation of Islam. Muslims held fast to a strict dress code, and men were not permitted to wear short pants. At the time of their first encounter, Allah was a registered Muslim with the name Clarence 13X under the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad with Malcolm X serving as the national spokesman and minister of Temple No. 7 in Harlem. It is said that when young Matthew first saw the father in the above situation, he thought to himself, this is a strange Muslim. Little did he know that this would be the man who would forever change his life. On 10-10-1964, which equals 11-11, the knowledge was added onto the cipher. Allah bestowed Matthew with the name of Kareem and gave him knowledge of self on October 7th, 1963. So 17 and 19 again just like we saw somewhere up here. Over time, young Kareem became known as the Black Messiah, the first born Black Messiah. The father said we would not have Muslim names. And beca he became known as a very dynamic force and a profound teacher. He traveled throughout the streets of Mecca, Medina, and Palan with our father healing the spiritually sick and the mentally dead. Harlem is also called Mecca, but I think they mean Mecca Mecca. <laughs> um, 
in the middle, the so-called Middle East, quote unquote Middle East. <coughs> Excuse me. But yes, Harlem is called Mecca too. The first ed uh, educational show in Prove was held on Sunday, June 13th, 1971. I wonder if you can guess whose birthday that is, which of course equals 19. 613 equals 19, 1971 equals 99. So together they equal 19. The first show in Prove was held at Harlem Prep located at 135th Street and 8th Avenue from the hours of 2 to 10 p.m. Tickets were $1 in advance and $1.50 at the door. The annual show Improve is a result of Allah's young five percenters desire to prove to the world that Allah did not die and that we show and prove that he lives on through us every time we come together, which is very similar to... Um, you know, the Christian saying about where two or more are gathered, there too am I. The show Improve was founded by Allah, Prince Allah, God Supreme, Gaiki, God Dumar, Takesha, Luasia, and various others. The father's immediate family was invited as guests of honor. Allah's younger brother, Ah Allah, and his sister Bernice came. Um... Martin also, also Martin Luther King also had a sister named Bernice. I think that sounds familiar. Yes, I believe so. Or daughter or both. Anyway, Allah's old earth, still distraught by the assassination of her son, declined the invitation. Yeah, they, they sort of skipped over a part. They went from 1963 to 1971 where they're having the show improve, but also on June 13th in 1970. 69, which equals 70 or 7, God, or God and Cypher, <clears throat> um, he was assassinated. So I don't know why they skipped that over. That's why the old earth was destroyed by the assassination of her son. And she declined the invitation. Although she did not accept the first edition print of the father's portrait made by I, God, the first show and prove was a long festive show occasion, and it is still going strong even until today. Old Man Justice was born James Howard on June 3rd in 1924. He was the only brother, which also equals seven, by the way. He was the only brother in the nation who was the who was older than the father. He had he and the father had met in Mount Morris Park. It did not take long for Jimmy to accept the reality of the father's teachings and he and Allah became close friends. James became known then as Free Cipher Akbar, later to be named Justice. He never wanted to be a leader of the nation. However, after the father passed, he helped to guide the nation for nine years until his physical passing on July 19th, notice the 19, in 1978. In the desert, on Strong Island, FOI of the Nation of Islam was out so soldiering the Muhammad Speaks newspapers in squads. Among them was a young Muslim named John 37 X, which is like John 10, 10. And if you, um, know the, the scriptures, John 10, 10 is the thief comes to steal, but I come, you know, to give new life basically to save. Um, which is a, a Jesus talking about him versus the devil, of course. It was during the spring of 1960 that this happened. This was the day that he would meet a man that would forever change at his view of self and life in general. While Brother John, Brother John 37X was out soldiering, he came across a debate between two members of the FOI. One brother had challenged a young brother, Clarence 13X, for identifying himself as Allah according to the initiator, 
Only Master Fard Muhammad could be recognized as Allah. The young man, Clarence 13X, told the man that I am Master Fard Muhammad's uncle. That means I'm his father, Alfonso Shabazz's brother, and Alfonso was Allah before Fard. The young man, known as Brother Clarence, took the brother to the student enrollment question number one. Who is the original man? Answer, the original man is the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, God of the universe. Then the father said, I am the original man and the original man is God and that makes me Allah. After listening for some time to Brother John 37X, he, after listening for some time, Brother John 37X jumped in on behalf of Brother Clarence. The situation was quickly resolved and the road, they got back to the road, back to the train together, on the road, back to the train together. Hence, from that day, the two became good friends. Within the nation, Brother Clarence 13X and Brother John 37X became known as a strong force to be reckoned with by way of the lessons. During the year of 1963, which again is 19, the two left the temple number seven. Brother Clarence declared his name from then forward as Allah and John 37 X became known as Abu Shahid. Abu Shahid was the first to bear witness to the science of our supreme mathematics. He debated against the father, Allah, for three days as to what should be come first, knowledge or wisdom. On the third day, he came to understand the truth of the science, quote, knowledge before you, wisdom, end quote. Shahid means from whose eyes the veil has been lifted. Allah was born Clarence Edward Smith on February 22nd, so 222, in the year 1928, which is 29 or 11. 22211 equals 8 in Danville, Virginia. He was raised with a strong Southern background. He went to Harlem, New York in the 1940s. Allah physically fathered seven children. He had two sons with a woman named Wileen Jowers, and their names were A Allah, B Allah. Then he met and married a woman named Dora whom bore him four children, Christine, Deborah, Clarence, and Perry. His last son, he named after himself, Allah, by an earth named Gavazia. Around the 1950s, Allah went to armed services and served in the Korean War. He returned home with a high and prestigious award for his outstanding service record. After returning later, he decided to join the Nation of Islam under the leadership of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The temple he joined was Temple Number no. 7, and it was headed by Minister Malcolm X. While studying under the Nation of Islam, he found conflict in the fact of believing, believing in a mystery of God, or a mystery God, rather. When the lessons that he was studying were telling him that he was the maker, the owner, the cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, God of the universe. In any case, Allah left the temple in 1963. He then begins a campaign to teach the masses of black youth in the streets of Harlem that there is no mystery God. When Allah left the temple, he brought with him Brother John 37X, known today as Abu Shahid. He also met a young man by the name of Brother Jimmy in Mount Morris Park. Brother Jimmy by learning the teachings of Allah, changed his name to Four Cipher Akbar. Today we know him as Old Man Justice. Old Man Justice became the father's closest associate. Today we think of Allah, we think of justice. Soon, Ebeka left the temple to join Allah. Allah and chooses nine young brothers to help him in his task of civiliza civilizing the lost found nation of God and earth. These young men became known as the first nine born. He chooses nine because in mathematics, one to nine, the numbers that represent the complete cipher. 
one two three four five six seven eight nine zero or zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. The first nine consisted of Kareem, who later became known as the firstborn black messiah, Al Salam, and Al Jabbar, who is now firstborn Prince Allah, Nahim, who is now Bismi Allah, Akbar, Kiem, and Bilal, who is now ABG7, Al Jamil, and Uhuru. Allah and his fruit taught by using the supreme mathematics and alphabet. He showed us the meaning of our names, ages, and why life is so hard for black people and the other significant facts of life. The quote-unquote powers that be tried to stop Allah from teaching the truth. There were numerous attempts to try and stop him and each time they failed because he was able to spread the word further. In 1965, Allah was arrested and taken to Bellevue Hospital. From there, he was taken to Madawan for the criminally insane. They claimed that he was crazy because he said that the black man is God. This, in any case, made him build harder. He taught us that we must be leaders of our own lives, our families, and the communities. This way the devil could not touch us because you can't kill anything that doesn't have a head. All the cells would reproduce. In May, I'm sorry, in 1967, Mayor John V. Lindsay presented Father Allah with the Street Academy, Allah School in Mecca. And, and this time they are definitely talking about Harlem. It's located at 2122 7th Avenue, which is also 7. So 7 7th Avenue in New York. And today we the fruit of Allah are the results of what Allah came to teach us. Allah was assassinated on June 13th, 1969, which is 11 7 or 9. Physically he is gone, but as long as we continue to build, he will never die. So, also they talked about the cipher. I showed this to my Facebook page, my fa um, Facebook friends the other day. This name was given to me by God, Queen of Swords, the light worker. I didn't make it up. I was told to name myself that. And it was because it's for more than one reason. Queen of Swords is a play on words for one thing. Um, so it's also like the Queen of Words as in a Gemini, Mercury ruled the um, great communicators of the Zodiac. And also because he said it was made of precious metal, a sword is. Um, and it had to do with how precious I am to them, to him and mother. As you can see, in Gematria, using four different ciphers, I guess that's why I thought to show this now too because we just talked about the ciphers with the nation of islam cipher is um of course zero in supreme math but it also means the different types um of numerical language that you can break something down into i guess as in decipher right to decode and we can see the queen of swords the light worker is 27 letters or nine made out of two words 11 and um, in standard Gematria Ingress Ordinal equals 360, as in 360 degrees. In the full reduction is 144, as in the 144,000 illumined ones, which I told you a few times that I, I am of whom I am. The reverse ordinal is 369, as in Tesla. The key to the universe is 369. And the full um, reverse reduction is 135, which is basically um, numerically means like God is sending you something powerful, like God sent. Um, expect something to come from the universe, to come from God like a, a great gift. And my name actually means gift of God. Mariama means gift of God, my, my birth name. 
Um, also, we heard in the story that all this began with Clarence 13X on 135th Street. So there is the importance there again. 135th Street in Lenox. Is that where the event was held? Yeah, that's where the event was held. The first show and prove, which was held on my birthday. The, my birthday, the, the actual day that I was born, day and year. So I was down the block in Harlem Hospital coming out. <laughs> and, you know, this was going on just two blocks away. Yeah, two blocks away. Not even, one block away. Between um, Lenox and this is uh, 8th Avenue. Okay. Um, Adam Clayton Powell is 7th Avenue. I think Frederick Douglass is 8th Avenue. Yeah, that's two, two blocks. Um, so those are the numbers there. What else y'all want to see? Anybody can do this. You know, put your name in here. It's not going to equal 360 or 144 or 369. But you can put your name in here. Put whatever you want in here um, to come up with the meanings. All right. I'm going to go because, again, I'm not even sure why I was made to show you guys this. <laughs> um, if I figure it out and I'm told or I'm told to come back or both, I will. Namaste, angels.